Hey guys, in this video I use an awesome simulation from the University of Colorado's FET Interactive Simulation Collection and um, we are going to be looking at Rutherford scattering. So we're going to be looking at the plum pudding model, what they expected to see when they did the experiment and then what they actually saw when they did the experiment. Before Rutherford did his experiment, the plum pudding model was the standard model of an atom. So here we have all these tiny little blue electrons in a sea of positive charge. Now I'm going to turn traces on here so we can see where the um, uh, alpha particles go. And then I'm going to turn the alpha particle on. So this is what Rutherford would have expected to see while the experiment was taking place. Here we have our alpha particles going through, and you can see they all go through pretty much uniformly. They are not really deviating too much, they're just going through. But we know this isn't what Rutherford saw. So if I just pause that and then switch to the Rutherford atom, what I'm going to do is again turn on traces. We can see the nucleus here, and then we can see the electron energy levels. Turn on our alpha particle gun, and you can see the majority of them go straight through, like what they expected to happen. But then very occasionally, a few of them get deflected. And the positively charged alpha particles get deflected when they go close to, or very close to, a nucleus. And depending on how um, close they get to that nucleus, that is how much they are deflected. If we go in a little bit closer, you can see here is our nucleus, here are our alpha particles, and you can see, depending on how close they get to that nucleus in the middle there, that will determine how much they are deflected. See, that one's deflected really quite a lot, whereas the ones over here aren't actually deflected that much. So this is what Rutherford expected to see, just all of the alpha particles going straight through, nothing really interesting happening, a very uniform model of the atom. But what they actually saw when they did the experiment is that lots went through, but unexpectedly, lots and lots were deflected as well.